Hey guys, this is Sean Hines from Imagination Film Productions. Today we are going to be going over how to create a simple nuke script of a uh, green screen to composite. So well, how to start off is you first go from sequence, go into node graph, and then uh, hit read to bring up where your files are located. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab, which is going to bring up our search. And we're going to search Keylight, which is the Foundry's default Kia. We're going to open up Keylight. And it automatically gets added to our tree. Inside the settings here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this box next to the color picker. And we're going to hit control shift by hitting control shift we're going to start keying out the background go over to screen map you can see that it's a very rough job of a key so we're going to bring up screen gain until the backdrop is completely black and then we can zoom in and if we're losing any information for example here on um, our character we're going to go into screen map and go to clip whites and then bring that down a bit until there's no more blacks and no more grays on our character. Then go over to final result and we have our key. What we're going to do is we're going to hit tab again, search for roto, open up our roto node. We're going to plug our roto into the outside mask which is on the key light and with our roto we are going to go to the first frame go over to where these markers are and we're just going to draw a very simple mask shape Gonna completely surround our character. So now that he's completely in the circle, what we're going to do is we're going to go to key light again, go down to where it has outside components, go to alpha, inverted alpha. To clear the work area of tool controls, simply click on this X. This does not eliminate the effect, it just eliminates the displays, it eliminates your controls. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit M on our keyboard, which is going to bring up a merge node. And we are going to connect the A into our foreground, plug the merge into our viewer, and our B into our background. The background layer is, of course, a different resolution than our plate. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on our background layer, hit tab again, type in reformat. Go over to our settings and put reformat to our needed resolution. And this 720. Could we move our controls again? We're gonna go over to our key light and after our key light, going to go and add a color correction. You could either just hit C and a color correction node pops up.
hit tab, and type in light wrap. Open up light wrap. And I'm going to put up the intensity. Light wrap is going to add a edge. Make sure that after you add the light wrap to put the, the B pipe into the background. It's going to add a big uh, light wrap effect, which is going to help integrate it. We have to adjust the uh, settings. So put up diffuse a bit, bring down intensity. We just want there to be a slight little glow like effect. We go to our background, hit B for blow. I'm just gonna blow this out. So now as you can see, it's blood. But our camera movement has some data and uh, we want this data. So what we're gonna do is we're going to unconnect our image or what we could do is we could go and get this viewer from the side of view one bring it up to here hit two on our keyboard which is going to open up our raw data underneath that we're going to hit tab go to tracker type in tracker open that up put that between the two now what we're going to do is we're going to go and find a track game point that we like. Go to the first frame. Hit add track. We're going to grab our tracker. And we're just going to bring it up to where that good track was. Which is here. We're going to track forward. With our tracking data. We are going to add another one because we don't just want 2D. Um, we want there to be some rotation as well as position and scale. So we are going to add a, another tracker. So hit on our tracker node, add another tracker. Do the same thing as we did before. Grab our tracking marker. You can control the size of it in the search area. Bring it up to another tracking point. So this one right here, to bring down the scale a bit, center it up, and we we'll track forward. Now after you have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our tracking settings, and we are going to go down to where it says create. We are going to hit match move and then hit create. Now we have this match move node. We're going to put this between our blur and our background. Hit one on the keyboard to go back to our original setup. Clear out all of our controls. Now as you can see we have camera motion Bring back our source clip to uh, here, and you can see that the background moves accordingly to our character's plate. But you could also notice there's this black line here, which isn't a hard fix. All you have to do is go between blur and uh, reformat and just hit tab type in transform and you can see a transform node open that up just gonna go over to our properties to scale and just gonna open that up it could fit could uh, go out of that now as you can see we have our shot all tracked in And we just want to go back to a roto. And I'm um, just going to zoom in to where our shot is. 
where you see the tracking point. So you can see the tracking point right here. So I'm gonna create another little road over here. down the color till it's black and now it's gone. We're gonna bring it back up for now because we need to animate this. Said if this was for a big production, definitely put more time into this, but this is not so it's gonna rush through it. Okay, so now if we were to eliminate all of our things here and go back to frame one, you should see that our tracking marker is now gone. So that's how you get rid of uh, Track markers and uh, key a green screen. Uh, the mask we put around everything is called a garbage mat. Same with the tracking marker. It's basically just to tell the program we do not want this piece to be for the foreground. Now, after you get to this point here, what we can do is we can go to after our merge. The composite is over. So we could go to merge, we could hit tab. We could add a transform. And this is just like post processing. Just to bring up the scale a bit, maybe just to, I don't know, just reframe it. Like I said, this is very basic composite. We could hit C for our color correction. We could just add some uh, additional color correction right there. No. We could uh, hit tab again. Go to search for some green. Get the green in there. We can tie everything together. And and ready to render it out. To render inside of the new studio, what you do is you go to wait before the viewer hit on the node right after. So this is the viewer. This is the last node. Go and hit W, or you could hit tab and search for right. Then go over to here. And uh, Nuke will render out your file. So I uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, have fun.